Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to add swipe and drag gesture events to a recycler view. Before we begin, you will need to have a recycler view ready and populated with some views. You can download the project I'm using in this video by clicking on the link in the video description. To add swipe and drag events to a recycler view, we need the help of the item touch helper class and callback from item touch helper. The item touch helper helps us connect touch events to a recycler view and activate the callback class to handle what happens when a swipe or drag event occurs. In the main activity where the recycler view is, create a new item touch helper object inside the onCreate method. Then pass in a new callback object. There will be three methods that will be generated. The getMovementFlags method is used to tell the helper what directions we want to support for our swipe or drag gestures. Zeros means nothing, so we will not be able to move anything. If we run the app, we will not be able to swipe or drag. To enable the events, add the helper to the recycler view using the attached to recycler view method from the helper. Replace zero with make movement flags. It takes two arguments, one for the drag flags and another for the swipe flags. These flags will determine the direction we support. Put zero for the drag flags for now. To allow swiping from the left, pass item touch helper dot n in the second argument. If we run the app, we'll be able to swipe from left to right. If we try to swipe from the right, nothing happens. To allow multiple directions, separate each direction with a pipe symbol. Enable right to left movement by passing in item touch helper dot start. Restart the app and we'll be able to swipe from both directions. To enable dragging, the same method is used. If we look at the documentation, the direction we can use are down, end, left, right, start, and up. In the drag flags parameter, use the up and down flags. If we run the app now, we will be able to drag the items up and down. Press and hold on the item for a second, and you will be able to move the item. Now let's see how we can handle swipe events. Whenever the item in the recycler view goes out of screen, the onSwipe callback will be called. The direction parameter returns the direction of the action that triggered the event. Add a switch statement inside and use the direction as the activation expression. Since we provided two flags for the swipe, we'll have two cases. The first case is item touch helper dot n. And the second case is item touch helper dot start. Now we can provide the logic to what we want to do. To remove the item when we swipe from the right, inside the start case, grab the list that the recycler view is using for its data. Call remove and get the item index using the view holder parameter. Lastly, call notify item remove from the adapter. This will update the view and create the delete animation. If we run the app and swipe from the right, the item will be removed from the view. To handle drag events, we do it in the onMoveCallback method. 
To swap the items when we drag the items on top of each other, declare a variable called drag item index. This will represent the index of the currently dragged item in the recycler view. To get the index, grab the view holder object from the parameter and call get adapter position. Declare another variable called target index. This will represent the index of the item that it was dragged on top of. To get the index, grab the target object from the parameter and call get adapter position. To swap the items, use the swap method from the collections class. It takes three arguments. The first is the list that is used by the recycler view. The second is the index of the item we're trying to swap. And the third is the index of the target. Now call notify item move from the adapter and pass in the position of the current item followed by the position of the target. If we run the app, we'll be able to move the items around. That's all for this video. If you find this helpful, give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video.